Now, make no mistake. This following video is meant to connect my wrestling videos and my politics videos. You see, what makes them similar in a way? Well, politics has become a thing of left versus right. That's not what it is in actuality because politics has been around for a long time before there was even a left mode of thought. However, that's the main conflict of the moment. And really, it's hard, it would be hard for a typical politician to think of a left back in the day because that was exactly what they were avoiding. All they were thinking about was maintaining order. They weren't necessarily worried about dealing with the ideas that promote this order because that wouldn't really be something thought of. This order is good. Let's speed up the rate of everything because that's not something you think of when you're always worried about your needs having to be met. Leftism can only truly exist in its entirety during a first world scenario, which is kind of what's happening now. As RT says, prosperity is the problem, and I'm starting to agree in a way. But I love prosperity in a way. I love having to struggle a little less to have my needs met. After all, it could be a little bit frustrating for me to have to say that I should probably go into the wild and start chopping down some trees and building the next Skyrim world somewhere on upstate New York. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. And I don't think you got time for that shit too, buddy boy. But when you think about it, wrestling and politics are similar. In wrestling, you got faces and heels. Who's the face? It may not be the guy that's doing good in terms of slave morality where they're nice and humble or master morality where they're essentially doing what's best for civilization, self-determination, protecting the livelihood of the collective as and le and it, it doesn't operate on those sets of morality it operates on this guy is a good guy because he's charismatic and makes you hype that's what stone cold is his actions as a wrestler giving stunners to random people almost committing murder on several situations that isn't something you consider protagonistic or good in any way but it gets you hype and makes you like him because he's awesome and badass or a straight edge society version of CM Punk around 2009-2010 that guy you're supposed to cheer for because I mean this guy's heel and you're supposed to boo him because essentially he's mean always call me. It's never a useful person that fucking calls me. It's always a stupid fucking dick shit. But regardless, I mean, he's straight edge. He's trying to get people out of drug addiction and be a leader to them. But no, you boo him because he's a dick. And because you're told to. And then the smart marks are a level above this dichotomy. They're usually in slave morality, where some of them have, like in my case, have moved all the way up to master morality. Although, that in itself is, a, in this scenario, kind of difficult to 
completely do because it's wrestling. You're just you cheer guys, you boo guys. It's whoever you like, whoever you prefer. Ultimately, it doesn't even have to involve morality. It just has to do with the fact that these guys are entertaining. Or maybe they put up a very entertaining performance. But that's what it gets too hype. Some things in general to think of. In many ways, different modes of social and mass media like to present different sides of the fake left and fake right as... Because they're all left in a way. But then there's like, okay, the, the incomplete left and the fake right. That's a better way to describe it. Different modes of them, social media, like different websites and things like that, and mass media, like different newscasts, like to present different thinkers as face and heel. You don't, they both do bullshit, and they both do good shit, but there's one guy that you dislike because he's giving heat to your charismatic hero. If you can consider Obama and Mitt Romney charismatic, I think that word is being thrown around when it's used on them. Because Obama's a cold, aloof motherfucker, but he's not charismatic. He's cool in the sense that he's cold and calculating. And Romney's cocky as fuck, but I wouldn't consider him charismatic by any means. So they are similar in many ways, faces and heels. And how the left and right, it's kind of connected to the left and right. The problem is that the right is something that I support, and not the phony right of mass media and social media, but a true right wing. In many ways, the face and the heel, just like the phony right and the incomplete left, are just connected sides of consumerist morality, not even worthy of slavery in that morality sense. Forget slave morality, it's all about consumer morality now. If you can think like a slave, then quite honestly, you are thinking at an advanced level for this postmodern era. And with that said, I'm Mr. Wonka 7, suck my dick, nigga.